क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन इनवर्स हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शन सो हियर वी आर गोना मेक यूज ऑफ द फॉर्मूले व्हिच वी हैव सीन इन द लास्ट वीडियो एंड वी आर गोना सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन इनवर्स हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शन So here we have to prove that hyperbolic tan inverse of x equal to hyperbolic sine inverse of x upon under root one minus x square. It means here we have to prove the relationship between two inverse hyperbolic functions. Now, guys, how to do that? So uh, I'll start with any one of the sides. So here I'm starting with the left hand side. So here left hand side is hyperbolic tan inverse of x. So what I'll be doing initially I'll be assuming it as let's say z. So So now, if I take this hyperbolic tan inverse on RHS, then we'll get hyperbolic tan of z. So here we can say that the value of x is equal to hyperbolic tan z. Now, here one important thing is we got the value of x, and now we can use this value in the right hand side. and then we can show the relationship between right hand side and left hand side so on the right hand side the angle is x upon under root 1 minus x square so here in this angle we can substitute x as hyperbolic tan z so now guys hyperbolic tan z will keep it as it is and here we'll substitute this as sin upon cos so here we'll get hyperbolic tan z upon under root 1 minus hyperbolic sin square z upon hyperbolic cos square z and we'll do lcm as well so we'll get hyperbolic cos square z minus hyperbolic sin square z upon hyperbolic cos square z now guys here in the denominator you can see that we got hyperbolic cos square z minus hyperbolic sin square z and we know the value of it is 1 so we can substitute this as 1 and root of 1 upon hyperbolic cos square z is 1 upon hyperbolic cos z so here we'll get this now in the numerator we have hyperbolic tan z i'll rewrite that in terms of sin and cos so we will get hyperbolic sin z by hyperbolic cos z and now we can cancel the cos terms so guys it means we'll get the value as hyperbolic sin z as x upon under root 1 minus x square now if i shift this hyperbolic sin z on the other side then so we'll get hyperbolic sin inverse of x upon under root 1 minus x square equal to z now guys if you observe then we started with hyperbolic tan inverse of x equal to z and now we got hyperbolic sin inverse of x upon under root 1 minus x square equal to z so from these two equations since right hand side is same we can say the left hand side is same and that is the required result so here we have proved the given result and i'm sure you understood the explanation so guys keep watching the videos because in the next video i'm going to cover the problem number 2 on inverse hyperbolic function thank you